you're looking at questions here that I put together from the 2015 New York State Regents exams in chemistry. These are the multiple choice questions that pertain to the unit typically referred to as redox, which stands for reduction oxidation, where I have at the top oxidation reduction. Let's take a look. Question one. In a redox reaction, the number of electrons lost is equal to. Well, you can't have something or a substance losing electrons and not another one to gain those electrons. So there's my answer. So when it comes to reduction and oxidation, you need to know what those terms are, and you need to know it has to do with electrons lost and electrons gained. Question two. We're asked about an electrode, or at which electron does oxidation occur? in what's known as a voltaic cell and electrolytic cell. There are two different types of cells. They're shown here, voltaic cell and electrolytic cell under electrochemical cells. Well, in both cases, the anode is the word that's used for where oxidation takes place. And we use, and I'm sure maybe your teacher used this as well, anox red cat. So anode at the, um, oxidation occurs at the anode, reduction occurs at the cathode. So in this case, the anode is both for the voltaic and the electrolytic cell. So there's a couple other ones, right? Leo goes ger. So loss of electrons is oxidation, gain of electrons is call reduction, and then anox, red cat, anode occurs, I'm sorry, oxidation occurs at the anode, reduction occurs at the cathode. Question three, in a redox reaction, which particles are lost and gained in equal numbers? Again, just the fact that you need to know we're dealing with electrons. Question four, what is the oxidation state for manganese atom? Well, I could see students going to the reference table and looking up manganese and saying, oh wow, look at all these oxidation states. I just have to match that up to one of the choices. But here's the problem, or the trick. It's a manganese atom. Atoms, of course, are neutral because the protons equal the electrons. So we're not looking at any of the oxidation states here. For manganese as an ion, it's manganese as an atom, so it's choice one. So that's kind of a trick question, just be careful. Question five, which process occurs when operating a voltaic cell? Your voltaic cells are your cells that we have chemical energy transferred into electrical energy. Choice two. The electrolytic cell, which was mentioned in question two, is the opposite. We take electrical energy and we convert that to chemical. You need to know these. Make sure you go back and review. And finally, for question six, we have an incomplete electrochemical cell. And it says solid copper will be deposited on one of the carbon electrodes when the wires are connected to. Well, this is going to be a electrolytic cell. How do I know that? Well, the easiest way to notice is that there's only one container. And when you start to take a look at more questions and you see a picture of a voltaic cell, a voltaic cell is two containers. And since this is a electrolytic cell, we're going to take electrical current and we're going to go ahead and force a redox reaction to happen. So electrical energy to chemical. In other words, we need a power source here and it's missing and that power source is a battery. This video is made by New York Chem Coach. The website is www.nychemcoach.com. I have more videos on the website. Check them out. Work hard and good luck.